welcome in welcome back you know who it is you know what it is and uh after a hiatus we are so here we go um definitely gonna get to some football but this particular episode i'm gonna touch on an nba story that i heard that just really got to me um gilbert arenas no chill gill uh, formerly known as agent zero he has a lot of things to say about basketball and um honestly I, I listen to this dude talk and there's sometimes i think okay he really knows what he's talking about and then like a lot of um other people who make commentary on basketball whether it's former players or media personalities or whoever there's times i think that he's just saying stuff just to get the clicks but before we get to all that um you know what time it is uh if you enjoy the pod don't forget to like subscribe click that button um also if you like it share it with other sports fans if you want the audio only version um we're available anywhere you get audio podcasts okay now let's get back to it um recently on no chill Gil podcast gilbert arenas was um well he made some very interesting comments about Giannis attendacupo here they are i can look at his game and say he doesn't understand basketball yet he plays the sport he won a championship cool he doesn't really understand how to be great how to be better how to train his body like you know i'm looking at the stats oh you're playing 32 minutes 34 minutes 30 you i'm sorry but to be here you have to train your body to at least 38 minutes and above mm. Like LeBron played 37 minutes at 37. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole thing. Like, just, that's a whole thing. Uh, Iverson was playing 43 minutes. Now, I, I, I think that was a, that was a crazy thing to say. Um, just, I think he was way off base there. So, so let me say this. Let me get this out of the way. Full disclosure. Um, I'm definitely a Giannis fan. And I know as a uh, sports journalist, member of the sports media, supposed to be objective. So I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. I am a Giannis fan. And that's not necessarily because I'm so enamored with his skill set, but what I am enamored with are some things that, some points that I'm gonna touch on that kind of refute what Gilbert Arenas has to say. Now, nobody's gonna sit here and tell you that um, Giannis has a toolkit like a Kobe or a Kevin Durant or, you know, Larry Bird, you know, all time great forwards, uh, Tim Duncan at the power four. No one is going to say that. Um, but what really gets me, I think on the whole, Giannis is so criminally disrespected. I'm not necessarily going to say underrated. Um, he's still got a long way to go in his career, even though it seems like he's been in the league for a long time. But um, I don't even know where I'd put him. I, I don't even think that in my estimation, he's top 20 yet. I guess his career accolades would maybe say for for some people that he has earned a top 20 status i don't think he's there yet despite what he has managed to do and accomplish in his career now with that said the reason why i'm such a big fan of his is because i love the fact that he just has gone about it you know the quote unquote right way um he didn't ever run to join up and create a super team um he didn't try to take the easy way out he just embraced his opportunity we saw what he looked like when he came here um i want to say 17 18 years old uh really skinny kid but we saw what he has become from averaging less than seven points a game as a rookie to being a two-time mvp to being a defensive player of the year to be uh multiple time all defensive team multiple time all nba all nba team multiple time nba all-star um i believe all-star game mvp now He's garnered uh, finals MVP. He's garnered just about every award possible. And again, he's done it the right way. Um, he's just come over here. He has embraced his opportunity. Um, he's joyful, loves the game, um, is very happy about the, the, the chance that he was given by the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, you don't hear any drama with him. All he cares about is his family and playing basketball and trying to win and trying to be the best version of himself that he can be. Um, he's humble and he just works. Now to that point, um, Gilbert Arenas' commentary that uh, he doesn't understand basketball. I'm not, I'm not necessarily, I'm not a great X's and O's guy. And there are a lot of times you see where Giannis will just pretty much um, put his head down, go downhill, get into traffic. Now I will say his, 
understanding of the game clearly has increased since he's come to the league, which you would hope that it would for her, uh, just about any player who's been in the league eight or nine years, you would hope their understanding of the game has increased. Um, so you see his assist numbers have gone up a great deal over the last, I want to say five years. He's averaged almost six assists a game. So he being the, the primary um, playmaker for the Bucks is he makes quality decisions with the basketball and his assist numbers likely would be higher if you know this era of nba basketball also wasn't such a big proponent of making that extra pass you know if they counted hockey assists who knows where those numbers would be right now with all that said uh if you want to compare Giannis and say um you know where does he stand among the all-time greats i don't necessarily put him among the all-time great power forwards yet. I don't think he has the skill set for those guys. Now, he's got a lot of hardware, as we know. Like I mentioned, he's won a championship already, like I've mentioned. Um, he's done a lot of things. Um, in terms of skill set, though, I don't think he's there. He's not there with the Charles Barkleys or the Carl Malones or the uh, Tim Duncans or the Kevin McHales or the Kevin Garnetts. He's not. But regardless, all he does is go out there and work. So that brings me to my next point. Gilbert Arena says he doesn't know how to work on his body. He doesn't I, I I don't I don't know where no chill Gil was coming from with that or where he was going with that, because, again, if you look at Giannis from the time that he entered the league to what he is now, you know, uh, quote unquote, Greek God. Right. He, he of course, is a Greek national. Um, but in all seriousness, you, you just look at the transformation his body has undertaken, and that's due to nothing but work. He hasn't, for the most part, had major injuries during his career. So he's he's put the work in on his body to stay relatively healthy and it's paid off. It's paid off. Um, so I really don't know where Arenas is coming from. But the worst part is um, these are sentiments you hear echoed by a lot of people. So, again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that he's got that deep, deep tool bag like a lot of the all time great players have. But whatever he's got has been effective, plain and simple. Now. Here are my thoughts on why he's so disrespected. Now, um, a while back, I did a show about how I believe Hakeem Olajuwon is so, so, so criminally underrated. And if you want to be honest here, I'm going to go ahead and say it. a big part of that is um, Hakeem Olajuwon. His name is not John Smith. His name is not David Robinson. If, if you switch to David Robinson and Hakeem Olajuwon's names, Elijah Wan would probably reg be regarded as a top six or seven player of all time. That's all there is to it. At the end of the day, you look at a guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo, you look at a guy like Hakeem Olajuwon, it doesn't matter how great these guys are. The fact is they're not American born and that becomes a knock on them. Okay. The American sports fan will embrace American born athletes. They're not going to embrace foreign born athletes the same way they're just not going to that's all there is to it and i think that plays a huge role and a lot of people don't want to say it they don't want to admit it which to me is so totally odd because america is such a nation that was built on the contributions of immigrants right whether those immigrants came here forcibly or came here willingly that is what america is built on the contributions of uh, immigrants so it's amazing to me that you see guys like that who come over here embody the quote-unquote american dream right they come over here they work hard they make something of themselves they don't ask for anything they just bust their butt and get what they earn right nobody's handing anything to them they just get what they've earned that's what Giannis did that's what dream did that's what you see luca doing that's what you see dirk having done and so many other uh foreign born players um that are coming into the nba and have come into the nba in the past Nobody gave him anything. They didn't come from uh, the, the, the pampered American AAU high school and college system. And they, they had to go get it. And that's exactly what they did. So um, I just think uh, Giannis is so disrespected and you hear it coming from a lot of places. And again, this is not a praise Giannis session. This is just fact based. I mean, he doesn't get the credit that he's due. And maybe it's because he doesn't necessarily fit into the way we view our American basketball superstars. And maybe it's because his name is Giannis Antetokounmpo instead of um, James Jackson, just random, you know, American name. Um, 
those things play a role. They really do. Because maybe as an American born fan, you don't feel that you can identify with Giannis. Um, you don't feel he can identify with you. You didn't go through any of the same things that he went through coming up in his childhood and, and his development as a player. Um, he doesn't have the, uh, the quote unquote AAU mentality of many of the modern NBA players. He's not necessarily about all the teaming up. He works out on his own in the off season. He doesn't do all of that. Um, the only people he wants to team up with are his brothers. And you know, you got to respect all that because it has led to nothing but winning. There's no drama with this dude. There's no diva with this dude. All there is is gratefulness to the Bucks organization, a willingness to work, and he is a champion. That's all there is to it. All right, so um, those are my thoughts on Giannis. And of course, Arenas, I think he was just, again, way off base with his commentary. I think Giannis is disrespected, uh, much like um, Hakeem Olajuwon was, and uh, most of the other foreign-born players. Um, yeah, uh, why don't you leave your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to reach out to me on social media, and I'm out. Peace.